Today, I'm gonna help you to walk through Hack the Box dancing. Step one, you wanna connect to Hack the Box. Step two, we need to spawn the machine. Download the guide. I now have my PDF guide. Okay, so basically what this is gonna do is this is gonna tell us there are multiple ways that we can connect to a host using SMB. And I strongly encourage you to read the write-up. But basically what we're gonna be exploring today is we're gonna be using Kali Linux to connect to file shares. And file shares are basically their directories on a computer where you're able to share files with other people. And then there are some that are hidden that are available. So as long as you have the correct permissions or maybe somebody's misconfigured those shares and they've left it wide open, Open, then you can a lot of times exploit that. And so what it wants us to do is sudo nmap minus sv and then the target, which is what we're gonna get from here. So we're gonna be going back and forth. So there's our target address and in Hack the Boss, you can click on that and it automatically copies that. I'm gonna click out our terminal and we're gonna press control shift V or command shift V if you're on Mac, I believe. Not sure about that. Enter our root password. So what this is doing is going to interrogate the box. It's looking for open communication ports on this device. The SV command actually tells us the version of the software that's installed. So that's very important because different versions of different software are vulnerable and some are not. So now that we've determined like what's open, we're gonna move on to our next step. We've identified that port 445 SMB is up and running. We're gonna be exploiting port 445. So now we need to install the program. So we're gonna run a sudo apt get that's install SMB client. So sudo root permission apt dash get is the way that you get software. It's like a repository software that's out there for Kali Linux. Install and then SMB client. Okay, press enter there. And this is what you should get if that ran correctly. So now that we have the SMB client command installed, we're gonna try to interrogate these connections, these shares on a computer. So SMB client. And notice how it changes like to a green if you get it right, minus L, and then IP address, 10, 129, 10. I'm gonna copy and paste guy. So now it wants the password, which is Cali. We have four shares on this computer. And hacking what foothold means is we wanna gain access to it. We wanna get on the box somewhere, not necessarily as the administrator to start, but we just wanna get on there. Because once we're on the box, we can then start to work our way around. We basically wanna see if there's anything that we can use to get to the crown jewels, to get the administrator access, and then we have access to the computer. We've pawn the box at this point. You need to understand and look up UNC pass, but basically UNC pass is the backslash backslash. This is in Windows, the server name or the IP address backslash admin. The reason we're doing it four times here is because the backslash is a special character in Linux. So we have to do an escape, which means that if we put two of these, Linux then understands that we want one backslash, but we want Linux to understand that this is not whatever program language or whatever the backslash is normally used in. This is a literal backslash backslash character. So SMB client, backslash, backslash, and then the client target IP address right there, backslash, and then we wanna go to the admin share, admin dollar sign specifically. Dollar sign is not a mistake. Oh, I made a mistake. All right, like that, that'll happen. Okay, there you go. Try it with the password. Fail. Try it again without a password. Fail. Because we don't have administrative privileges on a box. And if you're admin, then you pretty much can go to that share on a Windows machine and you can literally browse the entire hard drive of the machine. So it wants us to try to see dollar sign share. I can tell you, like, I, I had local administrative privileges in my previous jobs, had C dollar sign share. There was stuff I needed to do on people's machines all the time. I would just do it behind the scenes. They'd never know the difference. Access denied. We didn't want, didn't need to try the credentials because we don't have any credentials. We don't have any passwords that we've leaked, stolen, etc. Work shares. We're gonna try that. No password. Oh, wait, did I just get on work shares? I did. So now that I'm on work shares, oh, it wants me to type what? Help. So let's type help. Just to get a list of commands, I want you to focus on the get command and the put command. Put means to send a file. So once you're on it in the share, we can get files. It means we'll download it or we can put files. One of the things I didn't do is I didn't go to the downloads folders. Right now, if I did anything, I would just be in the home Cali folder. The permissions there are not the same as the downloads folder. So let's go to the downloads folder. And now we're gonna run that last command. Work shares and gonna no password, and we're right back to where we left off. It's important that you see the mistakes that I make because you're gonna make mistakes and you need to know how to undo or get around the mistakes. So we're looking at the guide here. It wants us to do a ls command, and when we do that, like, oh wow, like how cool is this? We've got multiple directories on the server, Amy and Jay. So we want to look inside this. So when we go to Amy's directory first, I just type am tab and they put the rest of it. And I'm gonna look around, what's in there? Oh, worknotes.txt, that's good. So I'm gonna have to get this file. 
All right, and so remember what I changed to the download folder before I ran this SMB command so that I could actually download this file. So I know where it is, it's in the downloads folder. Okay, CD dot dot, that takes us back up one directory. The folder before we went to the Amy folder, I'm gonna go to the James folders. I'll type JA tab directory since we're on a Windows, but I can actually type the DR command or the LS command, they both work. Oh, look at that, flag.txt, we're gonna get flag.txt we downloaded that too so now we got the flag that's what you're trying to do this is a capture the flag practice so now that we've captured that flag from the james folder i can actually like exit this so it's a couple of ways we can do it you have an exit command that you can use or you can just control c exit command okay now that puts me back in the downloads directory type ls you see i've got those files so now that i'm back on my directory i can do the linux native commands like cat work notes text and when i do that i'm actually reading the contents of this file that's what a cat command does secure the ftp server set up win rm on dancing and then start apache so that's that's what's in that file but what i really came to get is the flag.txt so i'm gonna cat flag.txt and it's gonna show me the flag and once again if i do that that's the actual flag that's what a flag looks like on hack the box control shift c is what you press inside a terminal. So now let's go back here and let's see what we learned. SMB, I've already answered this. This stands for server message block. What port does SMB operate? We talked about that, 445. What is the service name for port uh, that comes up in the Nmap scan? Let's go back and look at that. Okay, so here's our scan. So 445 is Microsoft DS from Microsoft Directory Services. Microsoft DS. What is the flag or switch we can use with SMB to list the commands? The content? Remember that was dash L, dash capital L. What is the name of the share we were able to access in the end with the blank part? It's the work, what is the work shares? What command uh, can we use with SMB to download the files we find? Use the get command, G-E-T. And then the actual flag right there, we can go ahead and paste that, which I've already done. And congratulations, you all have just hacked another box using SMB. Do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You see that I explain stuff very, very clearly and very, very detailed. So I want to do the best, but please leave me feedback. Let me know if what I can do to make these tutorials better and more effective for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.